Okay, our lesson that is on derivatives of the inverse trigonometric functions. So, here are the formulas that you are going to use here. Sine inverse of u, derivative of sine inverse of u, that is 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du dx. Derivative of cosine inverse of u, that is equivalent to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared du dx. Derivative of inverse tangent of u, that is equal to 1 over 1 plus u square du. The derivative of inverse cosecant u, that is equal to negative 1 over u, the square root of u square minus 1 du dx. Derivative of inverse second u, that is 1 over u, the square root of u square minus 1 du dx. And the derivative of inverse cotangent u, that is equivalent to negative 1 over 1 plus u square du dx. Example number 1, that is find dy dx, where y is equal to sine inverse of x squared. So, formula here that we are going to use, that is d dx of sine inverse u, that is equivalent to 1 over the square root of 1 minus u square du dx. In our example, as you can see here, our u is equal to x squared. Okay, so if you are going to look at here, sine inverse u, your u here, that is represented in our example as x squared. So, from the formula, so we will have dy dx, the dx of sine inverse x squared, then proceed to the formula. Formula states that the inverse of sine that is equivalent to 1 over the square root of 1 minus u square du dx. Our u is equal to x squared. So, 1 over the square root of 1 minus u square u is equivalent to x squared, so the, therefore you will have x squared raised to 2. Derivative of u, u that is equal to x squared, so that's the reason we have derivative of x squared. Derivative of x squared, that is 2x. x squared raised to 2, that is x to the 4th. So our final answer, that is equivalent to dy dx is equal to 2x over the square root of 1 minus x to the fourth. Okay, the next example that is y is equal to the inverse of a cosine inverse of 2x. The formula that we are going to use here, that is derivative of cosine inverse u, that is equal to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus u square du over dx. So it's, as you can see here, our u in our example that is represented by 2x. So, we have here cosine inverse of u that is represented as 2x in our example. So, from the formula that is equivalent to negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus u square. So, u here is 2x. So, 2x raised to square. Then, derivative of u. Our u is 2x. Derivative of 2x that is 2 square of 2x that is 4x squared so therefore the derivative of cosine inverse of 2x that is equivalent to negative 2 over the square root of 1 minus 4x squared okay the next example we have y is equal to tangent inverse of 1 over x plus 1. We are going to find the derivative of tangent inverse. From the formula, tangent inverse u, that is equal to 1 over 1 plus u square du over dx. Our u in our example, that is 1 over 1 over x plus 1. So, that is our u. So, as you can see in our formula, our u is equal to 1 over x plus 1. So, therefore, proceed to the formula. So, formula states that the inverse of tangent that is equal to derivative of tangent inverse that is equal to 1 over 1 plus u square. u square, square of 1 over x plus 1. 
So therefore, you will have 1 square over x plus 1 square. So derivative of 1 over x plus 1. So we have here 1 over, okay, as you can see here, x plus 1 square, that is your LCD. So x plus 1 divided by 1, because you have 1 over 1 here, diba? So therefore, you have 1 times 1, so that's the reason you will have x plus 1 squared plus 1 over x plus 1. Then derivative of 1 over x plus 1, that is equivalent to negative 1 over x plus 1 squared. So therefore, you can cancel x plus 1, x plus 1 squared. So what is being left, that is negative 1 over x plus 1 squared plus 1. Then we are going to expand x plus 1. So, you will have this final answer. Negative 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 2. The next example we have, we are going to find the derivative of x cubed cotangent inverse one, uh, uh, x over 3 or 1 third x. So, if you are going to look at here, u that is equal to one third x and then the formula in solving for the derivative of cotangent inverse that is equivalent to negative one over one plus u squared du dx so therefore from our given we have x cubed cotangent inverse one third x x cubed you can find the derivative of x cubed we can find the derivative of inverse of cotangent. So, this is what we call derivative of a product. So, therefore, we are going to apply the rule in finding the derivative of a product. So, that's the reason we have x cubed derivative of cotangent inverse x over 3 plus cotangent inverse x over 3 derivative of x cubed. So, derivative of x cubed, we have 3x squared. Then, write cotangent inverse 1 third x. Here, we have x cubed, derivative of cotangent inverse, you follow this formula, 1 over 1 plus u squared. So, we have negative 1 over 1 plus u squared. So, our u is 1 third x. Square of x, that is x squared. Square of 3, that is 9. That's the reason you have 1 over 9 x squared. Then we are going to simplify this one. We have, because this is negative, so we write first the positive. So 3x squared, 3x squared, cotangent inverse, 1 third x minus, okay, minus 3x cubed over 9 plus x squared. So, that is now the final answer. Okay, I'm going to show, show you how I got this answer, 3x cubed over 9 plus x squared. So, here is the solution. How I arrive at my answer, negative 3x cubed over 9 plus x squared. So, we have here, the common denominator is 9. So, the next problem, we are going to find the derivative of ln of x plus y. That is equal to tangent inverse of x over y. So, to solve this one, we are going to find the derivative for both sides. So, that's the reason we have ln x plus y equal to tangent inverse x over y. Then, find the derivative for both sides. Finding for the derivative of ln of x plus y, that is ln of u, that is 1 over u, right? So, therefore, that's the reason we will have 1 over x plus y, derivative of x plus y. Derivative of x, that is 1. Derivative of y, that is dy dx. And then here, derivative of tangent inverse, that is 1 over 1 plus u square. So that's the reason we have 1 over 1 plus x square over y square. Because our u here is 
x over y. Then derivative of x over y. That is derivative of u. So that's the reason we have y squared. Y derivative of x is 1. That's the reason you have only y here. Minus x derivative of y over dx. Okay, we have now a form of 1 over x plus y. Then we have 1 plus dy dx. That is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared over y squared. Times y minus x dy over dx over y squared. So, this is now your LCD here you have that would become 1 plus x square this would become y square over y square that is common is y square y square divided by 1 because this is over 1 so that would become y square times 1 so y square plus x square so your y square then you have here y square up this one so that could be cancelled out so that's the reason what remains is only this one y minus x dy dx this one and then you have your y square plus x square cancelled na ang y square so after that one when you have that one you proceed to cross multiplication so when we are going to cross multiply Cross multiply y squared plus x squared here. Then cro cross multiply x plus y towards here. So, so when you are going to cross multiply y squared plus x squared times 1. So you will have y squared plus x squared. Then y squared plus x squared times dy dx. So that's the reason we have y squared plus x squared times dy dx. That is equal to x plus y times y. So that's the reason you will have xy plus y square minus x plus y times x so x squared plus xy dy dx then we are going to combine dy dx to the other side we are going to combine dy dx to the other side this dy dx so you will have y square plus x square if you are going to transpose negative to the other side that would become positive that's the reason we have, okay, that's the reason we have y squared plus x squared plus, okay, plus x squared plus xy. Y plus, because when we are going to transpose to the other side, that would become positive. So that's the reason your denominator becomes 2x squared plus xy plus y squared. While here we have x y plus y squared when we are going to transpose x squared and y squared so x squared that would become negative that's the reason we have negative x squared we have xy where is now y squared because when we are going to transpose y squared to the other side that would become negative so y squared minus y squared cancelled out that's the reason our final answer that is equal to dy over dx that is equal to xy minus x squared over 2x squared plus xy, uh, xy plus y squared. Okay, the next example, that is y is equal to x cosecant inverse 1 over x. So, formula here, that is formula of cosecant inverse u, that is equivalent to negative 1 over u, the square root of u squared minus 1, du over dx. Our u in our example, that is 1 over x. So, therefore... If you are going to look at the example, that is, we can find the derivative of x, we can find the derivative of cosecant inverse. So, therefore, we are going to use derivative of a product. So, here, derivative of, you will have derivative of x that is 1. That's the reason you have cosecant inverse 1 over x plus x derivative of cosecant inverse. So, formula for cosecant inverse, that is negative 1 over u, our u is 1 over x. The square root of u square, our u is equal to 1 over x. So, 1 over x square minus 1. So, therefore, we have, okay, if we are going to look at here, we have 1 over x. Then, we have x, that would become x square because that would be multiplied up. 
Then we will have the square root of 1 minus x square because your LCD here that is the square root of x square. So therefore, the square root of x square that is equal to plus minus x. That's the reason we have a absolute value here. We take the positive value of x. So our final answer that would be equal to cosecant inverse 1 over x plus the absolute value of x over the square root of 1 minus x square. Okay?